everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to create an original KDP colouring book interior quickly using any image including photographs, drawings, cartoons using Adobe Illustrator. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. If you like videos like that then remember to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to get notifications of when I produce videos like this. And also if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, it's very much appreciated. So, today I'm gonna to show you how to create an original KDP coloring book interior quickly using any image you like. Now, I've done a previous video, linked above, on how to create a coloring book interior using vector images. Now with vector images, it's very easy, but you are limited to the, the number of images that are out there that are provided in vector form. There are way more images online that are photographs, uh, drawings, cartoons. So we're going to create an interior from that. Now this is using Adobe Illustrator, so let's get straight into it. Now, the interior or the pages of these books, the image is going to come right to the edges. So with an eight by 11.5 inch book, we're gonna to have to add bleed onto the edges of the pages. So the size of the page is gonna be 8.125 inches by 11.75 inches. So we'll click on create. So now we need to go and find our image. Now, two of my favorite sites for doing that are Pixabay and Unsplash. They provide royalty free images, but Wherever you get your images from, you need to double check the licensing agreements so that you keep yourself safe and your KDP account safe. So I've done a search for lion. We're going to create a, a lion's face interior um, page. Now, look through the photographs and try and pick a photograph that has a lot of contrast. There's a lot of difference between the, the lights and the darks and that will enable this illustrator to pick out the the lines all all that better so i'm going to choose this photograph and we'll click on download which i've already done and so we go back to illustrator and we're just going to drag our image across okay so we'll reduce the size of that for a moment and get this lined up on the page so pressing shift and hot shift and holding down the mouse on the corner we can just reduce the image size and can move that up a little bit and we'll increase the size so we can see what we're doing now you'll need the image trace box open you can find that by going to window and uh, clicking on image trace and that will open up the image trace box for you now first of all just highlight the picture we need to go to the effect tab at the top go down to artistic and click on cutout now this will open up a picture or image of our photograph now I'm just going to reduce the size of that so we can see it all now you've got a number of settings on the right hand side here top right hand corner which are going to change what the picture looks like and we're doing this to reduce the simplicity of the image because obviously with a photograph you've got lots you've got thousands millions of lines and it will be difficult to create a coloring page from that so we need to simplify our image now the best settings I found is if we go to number of levels setting that to six edge simplicity to five and edge fidelity to one. Now you can experiment with these settings. You just move the sliders up and down and see what the image looks like. So you may find with these settings, the image doesn't look quite like what you want. And so you could just adjust those sliders. But I found for most photographs, these settings are the best. And click on OK and it will transform, transform our image into this. So now we need to go to our image trace box and we click on preset default, view tracing result, mode black and white. We're gonna to change to color and the palette stays on limited, colors 30. And then we're gonna change these settings here, the corners to 
zero and this just simplifies the image that bit more and noise to 100 again simplifies a bit more then we can click on preview and then illustrator will just take hopefully a few seconds to do its work depends on your computer and your processing power mr rosa link to his channel below kindly built my computer a couple of weeks ago with a with a 32 gigs of ram an 8 gig video card and some fancy AMD processor, Ryzen processor. So this is working really fast at the moment. And actually he does build them to order. So if you're interested in that, go and uh, check out his channel. Okay, so we've got our image here. Now the next thing we knew, need to do is to get Illustrator to outline all these different colors. So we go on to object, Go down to image trace and click on expand and there you can see it's created all our outlines here now we don't want all these colors so we go over to the right hand side click on fill click on white you can click on none but that will create a transparent uh, background but for this um, image we want to click on white now we want to make sure all these lines can be seen because otherwise it'd be invisible like that. So just highlight again, click on the stroke box, click on black, click on weight to two points. Boom, and there we've got our image. And I think you'll agree that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing we want to do is create our background. So again, we're just going to open a new file. 8.125 times 11.75, create. Now, go back to Pixabay. I'm going to show you two ways of creating a good background. A simple way is to do something like put in Mandela as a search term on Pixabay. Now these are photographs, but if we click on illustrations, it gives us these nice, nice black and white images that we can use straight away. And I've downloaded one of these already, which is this one. And I just need to drag that Sorry, drag that across to Illustrator. So I'm going to drag that across, click on it, reduce the size, and then just drag it into position like so. And then all we need to do is copy our lion image, go over to our mandala image, click paste, and just put that in the middle like so. Okay, so we've got all this mess around the edges. So what you then need to do is file export as and we're going to export this as a png so i'll put this call this lion and mandala now this is important thing this box here you need to click use artboards so it will only save what's on the artboard and it will get rid of all that business around the edges so I'll export and we've got resolution high 300 um let's points per inch and art optimized super sampling that just creates the best quality image let me click on ok so that will now be in our pictures folder and we can double click on that and as you can see this looks a pretty good interior for a coloring book page so we'll just close that for the moment now i said i was going to show you another way of creating a background so we'll just close that and we'll open a new file Click create. Now go back to Pixabay. And now we're going to look for a pattern. And we'll click on just images. So it gives us image uh, illustrations and photographs. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a photograph. So you can scroll down and again, find something with maybe sort of defined outlines, good contrast. This is something that I found earlier, which I quite like. It's sort of a mosaic tile. So we click on that, boom, download it. Go back to Illustrator and then find our image, which is in the downloads folder. So I'm just gonna drag that across. Okay, now I'm just gonna rotate this. You just quickly rotate it to approximately 90 degrees holding down shift and alt and the mouse key at the corner just enlarge that so like before we then go to effect artistic cutout 
Now this is a pretty simple picture, but we're just gonna make it that bit more simpler. So I'm just gonna double check, uh, just move the edge simplicity to see what we get. And the edge fidelity, leave that down there, and the number of levels. Okay, that creates a pretty simple background. So we click on OK, and then in our image trace box, just click on color, corners to zero, noise to 100, click on preview, and let it do its work. Okay, so we've got our image now. And now what we want to do is click on object, image trace, expand. So we've got all our little components outlined. So we go to our stroke, black, two points. And then fill color, again, white. Boom, and we've got a unique and original background that people can color in. So again, we could take our picture of the lion, copy, go over to here and paste. And like we did before, export, export as, uh, title it, remember to click the use artboards. So then what you could do with these images is go to PowerPoint and then I'll just delete that, show you how easy this is. So we could create our two pages. So just highlight one page, copy, paste. And obviously I've changed the sizes of this page to 8.125 times 11.75 in PowerPoint. So they're the correct size. And then it's just a case of finding our pictures and dragging them across boom so that could be our first page so then we'll go and get our other image of the line i mean obviously you wouldn't use the the same line image but this is just to give you an example and we've called this lion plus tiles so i'll just drag that across and again that fits nicely onto the page and you can see then by building up your pages um, you can just copy paste that delete that and we've got another blank page to work with, you can create the interior for your coloring book page. Now let's go back to Illustrator. I want to show you something else. So we'll click on new, create another page. We could go to Pixabay and put in something like Lion Illustrations. And you'll find here, there are not just photographs, there are more illustrations which you can use. Now I spotted this one earlier, which would look quite good, I think, on a coloring book page. So again, click on download and go to where your images are and just drag that across. Reduce the size of the page. Boom. Put that in the, sort of in the middle-ish. Enlarge. Now this has already been simplified. So this is just gonna be a case, of, again, of clicking on color, corners, zero, noise, high. Click on preview. Okay, and then Again, click on Object, Image Trace, Expand. Now we want our lines to be visible, so we click on Stroke, Black, two points. And we want the fill color, because we've got all these colors here, to be white. Now we've got a, back, uh, a border around this, so we want to get rid of that. Now when you click on one of these lines, everything's highlighted. So that's because they're all grouped together. So click on Shift, Control, G, and then you can click on the border, click delete, and there, it's gone. And you're left with, with this. Again, it looks pretty good, and you could put that on top of a, you can leave that as is, or put on top of a, a pattern background like we just showed you. Now I'm gonna delete all of this, and just show you another image that you could use. Again, I got this from Pixabay, and this is a cartoon image. And these are even easier. So you could take a cartoon image, just reduce the size, put it in the center like so. And this would be more appropriate for a kid's book. The other images we've done are more complex, probably more appropriate for an adult's coloring book. This would be great for a kid's coloring book. So again, click on color. Probably don't need to do those settings for this one because it's really quite simplified already. Click on preview. Now you may say there's quicker ways of doing this but this is a reliable way that I found that you can use on all images then again object image trace expand go to stroke black weight of two points and then fill color white boom and we've got our coloring image again if you want to get you could leave that border there if you wanted to get rid of it 
click on one of the lines, everything's highlighted because they're all grouped together. So press Shift Control G or Shift Command G on an Apple and that will ungroup everything. And then you can go to your border and just click on it, delete it, delete it. And there you've got a simple coloring book interior. And then lastly, I'll just show you one more. And this is of an illustration of an elephant. So I'll drag that across, move that across, reduce the size. And again, as this is an illustration, it's already been simplified compared to the complexity of a photograph. So you won't need to do much work on this. I'll just enlarge that again so we can see what we're doing. Again, go to our image trace box, color, corner zero, noise hundred, preview. Okay, and again, object, image trace, expand. Go to our stroke box, click on black, then weight, two points. And then the fill, click on the fill box, click on white. Wow, look at that, that's fantastic. That looks really good. Again, you could, you know, if you wanted to increase the size of this, you could. You might want to get rid of that border. So again, everything's grouped together. Shift Control or Shift Command G. And then click on the border. Get rid of it. And then you can move this to the center of the page, wherever you like. And I think you'll agree, again, another great coloring book interior. And rather than just using stock vectors, using images means you can create these original interiors on all sorts of themes that you like. So that's it for now. I hope you found that uh, interesting and useful. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Also, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next time, goodbye.